The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You are the eternal shepherd who never leaves his flock untended. Through the apostles, you watch over us and protect us always. You made them shepherds of the flock to share in the work of your Son, and from their place in heaven they guide us still. And so, with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your Spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, Saint Joseph, St. Michael, St. Basil, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, may we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us ask our Father to forgive our sins as we ask as we forgive those who sin against us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord of Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let's take a moment and share that peace with one another. My brothers and sisters, behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We are happy who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Then say the word, and I shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord God, you filled Paul the Apostle with love for all the churches. May the sacrament we have received foster in us this love for your people. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in peace. Our Mass is ended. Thanks. Our thanks to two donors. The first, an anonymous donor from Aurora, Ontario. And the second is Imelda Arsenault from Toronto, Ontario. And it's their generous contributions that made the televising of today's Mass possible. Remember, if you can't sponsor a Mass, any contribution, no matter how small, will help keep Daily Mass on television. You'll receive an income tax receipt for your donation. Oh.